Hello? Hello. So, I finally made a guide. People have been asking for it since Shadowlands, I think. I'm not sure what people think about it, but feel free to leave it in the comments or tune into stream and tell me or discuss things further. I haven't really made a guide like this before, so there might be things missing, but I'm trying to cover most things. It's not going too in depth um, with calculations and so forth. I've done some sims, etc. The fuck? So, there's some forward, but uh, to why I'm making a guide and why specifically about Prot Warrior, and that's probably because I've got a few thousands of hours. Um, so we'll start off by going between Hero Talents, which is either Colossus or Mountain Thane. I know I've got this in black mode and dark mode now. Um, meaning this is gonna look weird, but once you open it up, it won't, unless you're using it as well. But nonetheless, these builds are here, so you can just activate them in game. So we've got Colossus and Mountain Thane. Um, Short answer is Colossus is for single target and raid purposes beneath 5 mobs or Mythic Plus. Beneath 5 mobs pulls uh, is where you would maybe go for Colossus and Spear. At least Spear is for less than 5 mobs. Mountain Thane and Thunderous Roar is probably going to be the general hero talent for Mythic Plus. Hmm... I'm not going to go too deep into everything here uh, that I've typed down, because you can read that by yourself. I do also have a video about all of these talent builds, as to why and where they shine and what things to change out in case you're lacking something like defensives or self-sustain. We'll not go through this either. This is the builds and what you might be changing out in them. Stats is simple for both Mountain Tain and Colossus. Uh, uh, and it should be haste crit versus mastery. Now there might be scenarios where you might want to have more verse than crit. For example, in case you can't live bleed effects. It's a very simple example. Since versatility is reducing the damage from the bleed effects you have or dots that you have which are not blockable etc or mitigatable by anything else You might want to or need to have higher verse in some cases now I don't think it's actually gonna be necessary But I'm going more in depth about it in the guide itself and you can read about it here for example I'm also writing down what the specific secondary attributes does do i'm not going over what armor or strength or block value is doing because i think that's more in depth than most people care about in case someone wants it i might add it we're going about defensive cooldowns and management how to manage things and why they're important rage shield block and ignore pain is probably the most basic things but that are very important because otherwise if you are not managing these things correctly you will definitely be running out of defensive cooldowns something that you also should be considering as defensive cooldowns which is maybe not as obvious is uh, stuns as well as maybe ravager since it increases your rage gain and therefore your ability to use in more pain um Defensive priority is fairly simple. You basically prioritize lower cooldown abilities first. If that's enough to live. If that's not enough to live, you might want to alter things. But I'm also going through that in the guide itself. Um, things might also change in this guide as I actually play it on live service since we haven't had the chance to play to play live keys yet and i've been playing with 100 plus ping on na servers it's been pretty hard to actually get proper things proper understanding and analytics out of it going on what the tier set does uh two set 
it's basically you're just doing your normal rotation and you want to get shield sam resets which is going to trigger your your tear set and uh shield sam crits something you also want which is why one of the reasons why critical strike chance is important for us because you know critical strike chance increases shield sam crits and therefore increases the damage by thunderclap and revenge and also critical strike chance gives us parry chance which is a defensive raid utility no big deal it's battle shout rallying cry i don't know i don't want to make this video too long you can find most things too you can read about everything here i'll post a link down below and i hope you like it thanks